We are recording. Okay, welcome everybody to your Friday 11 o'clock class. Today we are going to do the rows, um, but I also want to invite you one more time to our concert this afternoon, our Zoom musical at 2 o'clock. And that's going to be our birthday musical, seven different artists, some from Arizona, some from Florida. And we're going to be Zooming to everybody's store. And I am going to be one of your artists, so I'll be doing a song for you as well this afternoon. What book is this in? The book, this book is in 134, which okay. is the AFI's 100 Years, 100 Songs. And if you do not have the music, shoot me an email, not right now, but later, and I will be more than happy to scan the music and get it over to you. Thanks. Oh, you're very welcome. Okay, so what do we know about the Rose? Um, first of all, we know this is a Bette Midler song. She's one of my favorite singers. She's so talented. She made this song famous when she recorded it for her 1979 film of the same title, The Rose where it plays during the closing credits. This was also recorded by Conway Twitty, believe it or not, and it went straight to number one. Crazy, I did not realize that. The song was not originally written for the movie. Amanda McBroom wrote it in 1977, and she sang it in clubs. She wrote it for herself. And so this was something that she started singing in clubs, and she sang it on Jim Neighbors' talk show, and she wrote the song because her manager wanted her to write some Bob Seger-type tunes. Interesting. Okay, so she could get a record deal. So she wrote The Rose um, in 45 minutes. It's one of those really fast ones. That's some of the best songs are written really quickly. She realized that it did not have a bridge, but she couldn't think of anything to add. So you will not find a bridge in the rows. You'll just find a couple of verses. And so that's going to be a little bit of a challenge for us to make those verses a little different for each one of them in order to make the arrangement pretty. There's no bridge to interrupt the verses. Okay, what else do we know? Midler won the Grammy Award for Best Female Pop Performance. And guess who she beat out that year? a couple of A-liners, um, Barbara Streisand and Donna Summer. So she should be very proud of herself for that. Don? Yes? What page is that? Um, page 207. 207, thank you. You are welcome. It is in most of your song setups and it comes up to a background under soft and easy called roses. Roses, can you imagine that? Hmm. It is a signature background for that song. And yes, I'm performing on the fabulous Imperial, which by the way is for sale on our birthday special. Um, and it's, it comes up at 72, but I think it plays better a little bit slower as well. Anywhere between 64 and 72 is going to be fabulous. If you have a smaller instrument, um, the mellow, easy eight beat on your Freedom Threes, or if you are on the Easies, the smooth full band is going to be absolutely perfect on this. And it does come up with piano and strings. and some flute sounds on the bottom. But what I'm gonna concentrate on is what can we do with our fingers to make this pop a little bit? We're going to add, today's feature, we are going to add a second note to our right hand. So we're gonna, in effect, play two fingers at a time. Now, if that's something that some of you are going, oh my gosh, this is gonna be way too hard. Guess what? You have a button in your harmony section called duet. That'll do the same thing. So if you'd rather just play single fingered chords, go ahead and throw, throw your duet button in when I say, okay, now we're gonna add some second notes. Hey, Don. Also, yes. I added, added a, a golden harp also. Ooh, that would be pretty. Very pretty. See there, you're thinking like arrangers. I love it. Absolutely love it. 
What what uh, music style did you say you play? This is called Soft and Easy Roses, or you could use Smooth Full Band or Mellow Easy okay. Eight Beat. But there's Thank any you. number of of your slower your slower backgrounds that would be absolutely beautiful for this. We're also going to add some second note harmony in the third verse, but we're going to add the harmony on top of the melody note. The first time we're going to add it underneath. On verse three, we're going to add it over the top. And I will give you those extra notes. And again, you can do it with a harmony button. Now, if you only have duet and AOC, that's what you have to choose. If you have a country harmony, country harmony always puts the harmony note on top of the melody. So that would be an easy fix for when I say, okay, we're going to add notes over the top of the melody. Then you could go to your country harmony and cheat because cheating is 100% okay when we play easy play music. And yes, the golden harp is an excellent, excellent suggestion. I'm going to play the rose with song setup. I'm going to slow it down because I haven't really done much playing this morning. So we'll put it at 65. That's pretty good. So I want everybody to mute yourselves. And here we go with the rose. <coughs> Okay, I did not go back and play the whole thing again. Um, actually, it's supposed to go back to here. We can talk about the roadmap because this, this roadmap does get a little bit tricky here. You have two sets of first and second endings. So you're going to want to get your colors out because um, that's gonna, your highlighters are, are going to help you. On page one, you have a first ending right off the bat in second line. And then you have your repeat dots. Your repeat dots send you back to the beginning of the song, not the total beginning of the song because you don't want the pickup notes in there. Your pickup notes are down here in your first ending. Follow the lyrics. They will always tell you where you're going. 
Then you play the second time. Love it is a razor that leaves your soul to jump over to the second ending. Bleed. Some say love it's a hunger. Play, 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 play. When you get to page two, you've got repeat dots facing forward on the second line. Ignore them. Play through them. Page three, 209. You have a first ending on the entire third line. You've got that one. And then at the end of third line, you've got two dots, a thin line, and a big thick line. Make that a different color. Now, where are we going back to on that? We're not going back to the beginning dots. We're going back to the second page dots. I didn't play it this first time around. But you go back to the night has been too lonely and the road has been too long. And then you play that up to the end of line two on page 209. And then you jump down to the second ending, which is what I played. And yes, you heard me add notes on the top and you heard me add some notes on the bottom because there is no bridge. A lot of verses, so you can, now I could have gone to the bottom keyboard for one of those because there's a flute duet down here that's really pretty. Matter of fact, when I play it later, I will, I think I'll play verse three down here and then go back and play verse four back up here and add the notes. When you've got the duet on, you don't need to put in the extra notes. I know some of you love the challenge. I do. It's fun. It's a good, it's a good finger exercise to do that. Okay. Any questions about the roadmap? Nope. We got it? Okay. I, I have some. I'm not sure exactly. When you first come to the first dots, where do you go back? To the, the beginning? The first dots, yes. You go back to the dots at the beginning that are facing forward. Okay. 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 Follow the lyrics. Some say, love, it is a razor. Okay. Yep. So you, you want to have the same color at the end of the first ending. The same color goes back to the beginning dots. Okay. Got it? Thank you. You're welcome. Anybody else? As far as chords, did I change any? A few, but very few. The chords that are here are pretty good. So if you go to the first page, line three, line three, cross out the A minor and replace it with F major seven. F major seven. Yeah. Now that's F capital M A J seven. You cannot play it like a regular seven. It won't sound. A major seven is a jazz chord and it is the letter minus one. So it's E and F with, two th with the two fingers. And it just makes a real pretty, pretty sounding chord. And then in line four of the first page, you may, this is optional, Make that C a C sus, S-U-S. That's a suspended fourth chord. And it is C, F, and G at the same time. And then in beat three, which is in between the notes, in between the C and that triplet, now put your C7 back in. So you're playing from this to this. Oh, be quiet. And you might just want to practice to the C sus, which is C, F, and G, to the C7, just so it doesn't sneak up on you. Page two, let me see, what do I have? Yes, page two, top of the page, page 208, actually. The B-flat chord right off the bat is good for two counts. Over the F for its, which is the third beat of that measure, Put in a plain old C, plain old chicken. 
And that's the only change on that page. The third page, top line, second measure, if you wish, you may put a seven on the D minor. That would be C, D, and F. Don, there's no C minor there. That's D minor. Wait a minute, you're on the second line of the second page. No, I'm on the third page, first line. Oh, okay. D minor, put a seven on the D minor at the top of the page. Got it. Okay. First ending, exactly as it is. The second ending, right after that B flat, what we're gonna do is you're gonna put double lines. If you put two parallel lines right after that, that is a, it's either a no chord or a stop. And I wrote stop above it, and what I did is I just went up and hit the start stop button. If you hit a no chord, if I'm playing a B flat chord, and I hit the no chord, your drums are still gonna go. I wanted it to be even more dramatic than that. So I did the B flat chord, and then I reached up and touched the stop button. Now I want you to take that C chord and cross it out and throw it away, because we're not gonna use it. We're just going to play the F, G, F by itself, and then when you play that last F, the dotted half note, then you're gonna put that F chord back in, and then it's gonna give it some drama, because we like drama. So on that last line, where's my, there it is. On the last line, you're, it's gonna sound like this. You can drag out those three FGFs as long as you want. And if you think of Bet singing it, that's how she did it. And then when you play rows, when you get to that, then that chord comes back in and then you can hit your ending. Questions? Questions on chords? Okay, fingering is going to take a little bit longer because I did try to help you with putting in some fingers for the second notes as well. Now I know some of you are just going to use whatever fingers get there first and that's pretty much okay as well. Wayne, where are you? Oh, you're on a, on a dock today, okay. <laughs> How cool, and David, oh yes, I like where you are too. You're at Epcot Center, that's awesome. <laughs> Don, are you gonna give us a second, uh, the second uh, set of... Uh... As I, yes, as I'm going through the fingering, I will be adding the second notes. Okay. Okay? All right. All right, let's go back and do some fingering. How are we doing on time? Oh, we got plenty, plenty, plenty of time. All right, first page, F1, G2, A3, A3, B flat 4, A3, A3, G2, 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 second line. F1, F1, G2, cross out this next G and make it an A in the second space and make it a three because that phrase should go like this. You want that second G to be an A and make it a three. Then the first ending, A is three. The pickup notes are F1, G2, F1. Let's go to the second ending. This is where we're gonna start the second notes. Or you're gonna push duet. So whichever one you like, you can just continue playing with the uh, single fingered and just push duet or let's add the second notes. The first note A is, is a three, and here's where we start adding the second one. 
Under the A, put an F in the first space and make that three and one. And when I say three and one, I want you to write it three over one. That way you know the A is three and the F is one. Under the B flat, G on the second line. Your fingers are four and two. Write them over each other so that you can play them at the same time. B flat is four, G is two. Under the next A, put an F on the first space and make your fingering three and one. Write them over each other. So that line is just easy, easy peasy. <coughs> And if you need to practice that a little bit, that's fine. And if you only do part of it with second notes, that's fine too, it's all cheating is good. Let's go to line three. First measure, underneath every C in the first measure, put an A in the second space. So you're gonna have A's underneath all those C's. And your two fingers are five over three. Okay, second measure, it's C and A. Again, put an A underneath the C in the second space. Make it five and three. Under both Fs, the eighth note and the half note, put a D underneath the F in the first space below the staff. And your two fingers are two over one. Two over one. The two is on the F and the one is on the D. Under the A, put an F in the first space. Your fingers are three on the A, one on the F. Next measure, under the B flat, F. It doesn't go to G, it stays on F. And it's going to be four on the B flat and one on the F. The next one, under the A, F. So your, your thumb is just gonna stay in the same spot. And that's gonna go like this. Pretty easy, but it does take a little bit of practice. The triplet, that's an eighth note triplet. And the reason you have that there is because there's some lyrics that require it. Under the G, D, uh, which is the first space under the staff. Your fingers are, what do I have? Two and one, no, four and two, I'm sorry. Four and two, or whatever fingers get there first. John, uh, what was the A prior to that? It was A and F under it, what were the finger in it? A and F is three and one. Thank you. And then your fingering has to change here to four and two. So if you're on three and one, you kind of have to do a little pivot and do a little crossover. Well, you're using your thumb as a little pivot and you're just gonna cross over those fingers and do four and two. Four on the G and two on the D. And then you're going to play another D under the F and another D under the F. So it's gonna keep that same two finger on the D and you're just gonna bring a three finger So your F's are three and your D's are twos. Confusing? Yeah, it is. But take it really slow. Take it slow, this fingering does work. Now if you're putting on a duet, you don't have to worry about that. You're gonna play the top finger. You don't have to do a crossover. You could just continue with a two one one on the G F F. Whichever finger plops there first. Let's go to the bottom line. Under the D, put a B flat, butterfly flat under the D. And your fingers are 
Why do I have three and two here? Oh, because, yeah. No, I want three and one. You want, you want your third finger on the D and you want your one on the B flat. That is a mistake. I made a mistake. And normally we don't put ones on black keys, but sometimes we have to. And then you're going to hold that B flat underneath the C. So you can put a B flat under the C or you can just draw an arrow so you know it's going to continue. Three and one for the D and B flat. Two and one for the C and B flat. Or whatever finger gets there first. Sometimes that's the best rule. Then put a check mark. Now the next notes, <coughs> not double. The next notes are not double. The next notes are 100% as they are. So now we're just going to do regular fingering. F1. And John, would you go off of the duet at that point? Yes, I would. Yes, if you're on the duet, take off the duet. Okay, thanks. Yes, good, 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 good question. Thank you. All right, F1, G2, F1. A3, A3, B flat 4, A3, <coughs> A3, G2, G2, G2. And the first page is done. Good finger exercise for you guys, though, if you want to give it a try. Second page, F1, F1. Oh, We're still on single notes. F1, F1, G2, F1, F1. And at the end of the first line, F1, G2, F1. Now, here's where we're going to start putting the notes on top of the melody line. So instead of playing the A and the F, we're going to put a C on top of the A in the third space. So C is in the third space over the A, and your two fingers are four on the C, two on the A. Over the next A, same thing, C in the third space. On top of the A, your fingers are four and two. Over the B flat, put a D, dog, on the fourth line. And your fingers are five on the D and three on the B flat. So write five and three, one over the other. Over the A, C on the third space. Your fingers are four on the C and two on the A. Next measure. Over the A, C, third space, same thing, four and two. Over the Gs, over, over both these Gs, B flat on the third line, B flat. And your fingers are three and one, three on the B flats, one on the Gs. And then you're going to put a little check mark. A heart afraid of breaking. <gasps> it's going to be like taking a little breath. Now you're going to cross out the next two Fs, the quarter notes. Cross them out and replace them with Gs on the second line. And then you're going to put your harmony notes over the top. And it's B flat over the first G. The next measure, B flat over the G, and B flat over the F half note. So your top note is staying the same. Your fingering is B flat 4, G2, B flat 4, G2, B flat 4, F1.
the eighth note triplet over the G, put a B flat on the third line. Your fingers are four on the B flat, two on the G. Over the next G, same thing, B flat, four and two. Over the A, C on the third space. Your fingers are five on the C, three on the A. Next line. Uh, Don, before you leave that line, yeah. Uh, the F uh, half note there. What did we do with that? Which F? Um, right after the B. Uh, the, the you have B three flat Fs, the, and I'm telling B. you, to, I'm telling you to cross out the first two Fs. Right. And the and then G's. And make them G's, and then the F half note is an F. Keep it in an F. Oh. And Keep it an F. So you, that whole line sounds like this. Now, if you don't want to play that, that triplet, you can actually just play G, B flat G and then C and A and don't have to play it. You don't have to do it quite that fast. You can just do the B flat G to the C A. Remember, your ears are always your final judge, and you play it the way you sing it. Always, always play it the way you sing it, and you will be right. Third line, over the A, C in the third space, and your two fingers are five on the C and three on the A. And you practice this slowly. Now, if you don't want to do this, you either hit duet or country harmony, because country harmony will put that harmony up on the top. Try it, because it's kind of cool. All right, it's the dream over the F, A in the second space. Three on the A, one on the F. Three over one. Over the G, B flat on the third line. Four on the B flat, two on the G. Over the F, A on the second space. Your fingers are three on A, one on F, three, one. The word dream, put a C on top of it. Third space, your, your fingering is four and two. Four on the C, two on the A. Repeat that on the next A, C over the A, four and two. Over the B flat, D, dinosaur, fourth line. Put a five on the D and a three on the B flat. Over the A, C, third space. You kind of notice a pattern here? We're playing thirds for most of the time. The C is a four, the A is a two. Next measure over the A, C, third space. Four on the C, two on the A. Over the G's, over all three of these G's. B flat, now different fingering though. B flat on the third line for all three of them. But the first two are three and one. So in between the half note and the last quarter note, you're going to put a check mark. And even though you've got the same notes, B flat and G, you're going to switch fingering. You're going to put a four on the B flat and a two on the G. Next line. Can you, can, can you say that again? You cut out. Yes. The last measure of the third line. Over the A, C. Your fingers are four and two. Over the G, B flat. Your fingers are three and one. Over the G half note, B flat. Your fingers are three and one. Put a little check mark. Over the last G, B flat, but we're changing fingers. 
Now it's four on the B flat and two on the G. So you're just switching up your fingers. Last line over the G, B flat again. And your numbers are four on the B flat and two on the G. Over the F, B flat. Here's one where you gotta do a little, it's not thirds anymore. So it's four on the B flat, one on the F. And we have three more notes that we're gonna do over the top and then we're done with the over the tops. All right, over the G for takes. B flat, third line. And your numbers are four and two. Four on the B flat, two on the G. The next G, cross it out and throw it away and replace it with an A on the second space. And over that A, we're going to put a C in the third space. Your fingers are five and three. Five on the C, three on the A. Next measure, you have the same notes. Over the A, put a C on the third space and your fingers are five and three. Woo! Wow. That's, that's your over the top harmony. And it just makes it different. We're trying to make each verse a little different. So sometimes we put the harmony on the bottom, sometimes we put the harmony on the top. And for those of you who are unsure, go to your harmony section and try the difference between a duet harmony and a country harmony, which puts the note on the top. Okay, the last three notes in that line. Oh, for those of you who are using your harmonies, take it off now. The A, B flat, and A are single notes. A, a is three, B flat four, A three. Top line of the third page, single notes. C5, 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 C5. And in case I forgot one, it's a C5. The Fs are ones, F1, F1. A3, B flat 4, A3, G2, F1. Second line. D, two with a circle, C1. The circle means you're crossing over the second finger and then pulling your thumb out and putting it on the C. F2, G3, F2. Now I'm gonna add two notes under some of these notes. And again, that's just a little bit of a challenge. For those of you who don't want to add the notes, you may hit duet or you may hit AOC. That is not Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. That's <laughs> automatic organ computer, also known as any old chord. Any old chord. So if you hit that, it's going to give you a three note chord. Under the A for the word soul, Put an F in the first space, and under that, put a C on the first line under the staff. So you have A over F over C. Your fingers are four, two, one. Four on the A, two on the F, one on the C. Now we're only going to do it on the first, the first notes of the measure. The next A is a four, the B flat is a five, the A is a four. Now we come to the next measure, we're gonna do it again. Under the A, put an E on the first line. And under that E, put a C on the first line under the staff. Your fingers are four on the A, two on the E, one on the C. Then the rest of them are single notes. G3, G3, G3. And that's going to sound like this. And 
and you can hold those notes while you play the rest of them. The first ending, G3, F2, G3, F2, F2. Check mark. Then you're going to play your pickup notes, F1, G2, F1, and go back to the dots on page two, not all the way back to the beginning. And the last ending, under the F, D. Just do two on that one because it's, it's easier to find them. The F is two, the D is one. Then put a check mark, becomes the rose. F is four, G is five, and if you wish, you may add two notes under the G. E on the first line and C on the first line under the staff. G, E, C. Your fingers are five, three, one, or just play the G by itself and make it a five. The next F is just a four. The last F is a three note. F, under the F, put a C on the first line under the staff, and under the C, put an A on the second line under the staff. And your fingers are F4, C2, A1. So now that's going to sound like this. Oops, let's play it here. And if you and you notice I'm not playing them. I'm playing those a little bit more arpeggiated, meaning I'm starting at the bottom and rolling my fingers to the top. And it just makes it sound a little bit more real, especially if you're using a guitar sound because then it sounds like you're actually strumming the guitar. And we'll, we'll get into some guitar strums in a different song. It's a really cool technique. All right, any questions? Did I lose anybody on fingering? That was a tough one. Come on, I have a question. Page three, page three, page three, uh -huh. on the second line, the fifth note, and the fourth measure, where you put, uh, it's the F4, you said make it a duet or an AOC. Uh -huh. Okay, where do you end that? Where do you end that? Um, the end of the song. Just play okay. the... Leave the yeah. duet. Oh, no. You, you want to take that off when you go back to here. When you go back to, to the... If you're playing it through the first section, yeah. then you want to take it off after Never Learns to Live, take it off. Take off the okay. AOC. Okay. okay. And then go back to here. And then right. that... Then you don't have to play that second... That, that second page. Don't have to play that second, don't have to play that second page. I'm getting a huge echo. Somebody's. I'm getting a huge echo. Yeah. Let's mute yourself and let's see who's, who's causing that. Somebody's got a real strong microphone. Okay, that's good. Thank you. When you go back to play it a second time, you might want to go to a lower keyboard or touch another preset to see if you can get a, a different sound. Because remember, you're trying to make each verse a little bit different because there's no bridge to the song. And another way, like, like uh, Wayne said, is you might want to add a golden harp to one of the verses. That'll change the background up a little bit. That was a very good suggestion. How are we doing on time? Oh, we're doing excellent. Okay, I'm going to play it again, and I'm going to leave it on the roses. I do like this setup, the song setup that it gives us. I'm just going to slow it down. Whoops, I don't want to transpose it. I want to slow it down just a little bit, because I, I think 72 is a little bit fast, especially if you're trying to add these extra things. And this time I'm going to play it Excuse me, with all the repeats. All right, here we go with the rose. Back 
to the beginning. Second ending, double notes. Finger stumble. John? Yes. Do I have um, on the legacy have the duet? Yes, it does. It has duet and AOC. Okay, yes, good. Thanks. Mm -hmm. John? John? Yes. Did I hear you put in an FX? Yes, um, many times. I, I, I use FX a lot. Oh, a lot. Okay. Yep. It just it's, adds a lot when you're, when you're sitting on a note and it, it gives it a little more drama <laughs> Don, what tempo did you use there i'm at 65. okay I, yeah I, 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 I was thinking i was singing the song as you were playing and i went right with you okay oh. I, I like it's a pretty that song feature Don. pardon i like that on the last line on the third page where you press the stop yeah that was that was cool yeah, like yeah that does just add a little bit some yeah. songs you just want to do the no chord, but in this case you wanted it to be completely yeah. boom, blank air, nothing. Just so you hit the stop button and everybody's like, oh, and then you can play it as slow as you want to right. bring it to the end. Yep. So Don, yes. you, you only did the country, the country harmony the second time through, correct? Correct, correct. What I did is I went down to the lower keyboard to give me a second uh, sound to make that verse a little different. If you felt like playing it with that country harmony both times, that would be absolutely fine. Um, so it's this, remember, this is your arrangement. And all I did was give you some ideas on how to change it up a little bit so that each verse is just a little bit different so that it sounds nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like playing the double notes. That, yeah, that wasn't it, hard to do. It's a challenge. It's a good challenge. It was good. Yeah. <laughs>
Good. I'm glad you liked it. Now, let's, what are we doing for next week here? Let's see. Oh, it seems like old times. Okay. Very good. Um, yeah. I'll see what I can do with this song. It's Carmen Lombardo. Cool. Okay. All right. So next song is the next one we do. Seems like old times. Anybody that wants to work ahead. Any questions, email me. Um, give me a call. Emailing is the best because I always answer the emails. Um, if you need a copy of the music, let me know so I can scan it to you. Um, that's always, we, we're allowed to do that as long as it's for um, educational purposes only and you just need to see some of the things that I wrote in or you just don't have the music. So uh, just quickly, can you tell me the formula for augmented chords? Yes, augmented chords as the the letter of the chord plus four plus four more. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Dawn? Yes. Do you know what Monday and Tuesday will be yet? Oh, you know what? I should have I should have brought in my list. Um yeah, I can't honestly remember, but just go to the next song. I think Tuesday is somewhere. Someday my prince will come. No, I'm skipping that one because it's uh, the eighth edition doesn't even have that one, and a lot of people have the new book, so I'm skipping okay. Someday My Prince Will Come and going straight to somewhere. Okay. okay. Monday um, is where do I begin? Monday is where do I begin, correct, yes. Thank oh, you. okay. Thank you. You guys are the best. You guys are awesome. Don't forget, concert this afternoon, 2 o'clock. It's our birthday concert. So get yourself some cookies and cake and some balloons if you want. And uh, that way you can feel right at home having a birthday celebration with us because that's what we would have if we were doing it at the store. And we're 115 years old. And, oh, boy, Oil of Olay does wonders. No, music keeps <laughs> us young. <laughs> The music keeps us young. It's fabulous. So you guys are the bestest. Thank you so much. And we will see you this afternoon Thanks, at 2. Thanks, Don. Thank you, Don. Thanks, Don. Thank you. Don. Thank Love you, Don. You guys. Hey, Don. Yeah. Do I have to buy another book? Because the only book I have is 15. Oh, you might. You might want to, depending on which class you like the best. Well, I just want to practice. Okay. Well, you know, we got lots of books, but I would recommend one of the ones that we're, that we're doing in class, and I uh, don't know if I have any extras. Um, I might. I might have some extras of this book. Okay, let me know. All right. Yeah. Okay, will do. Okay. You guys are the best. Thanks. Love you guys. Bye. Are you going to do one with book 15? Bye. Pardon? Book 15 is on Wednesday. Wednesday at 1230. 12, 12 yep. Okay. Yep. Thank you. You're welcome, Bye -bye. Colleen. Thank oh, you. Like you did a great job. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye.